What is the bootrec.exe tool? Bootrec.exe is a tool provided with Windows 7 as part of the Windows Recovery Environment, or Windows RE. It is used to troubleshoot and repair problems that are preventing Windows from starting, that are related to the master boot record, boot sector, or the boot configuration data store, or BCD. The bootrec.exe tool is also provided as part of Windows Vista. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using VirtualBox to run a Windows 7 virtual machine so that I can record the process. To be able to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need a copy of the Windows installation media. Many times new computers will come with Windows recovery disks. If your computer didn't come with it, or you don't have it anymore, your best bet is to download a copy of it using a torrent program. I will place a link on screen to another tutorial showing you how to download, install, and use uTorrent to download a torrent. You can then burn the ISO file of Windows you downloaded directly to a CD or DVD. You also have the option to create a bootable USB thumb drive with the Windows installation media on it. I will place a link on screen to another tutorial showing you how to create a bootable USB thumb drive from the Windows ISO you downloaded. Let's boot to our Windows installation disk and repair our startup problems. Place the Windows CD, DVD, or USB drive into the system that you want to repair. If your system is set to boot to your CD, DVD, or USB drive with the Windows installation files on it, you'll see a message as soon as you start the computer that says, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Let's turn on the computer, and if we see this message, we'll press any key to boot to the device. If when you turn on the computer, you didn't see the message to press any key, then you need to set your boot device order. You'll need to select the CD or DVD drive, or the USB drive as a default boot device for your system to boot to it. This is done through the computer's BIOS. When you first turn the computer on, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it'll tell you what button to push. This is the black screen that you see before Windows loads, the first 10 seconds or so after you push the power button. You typically enter the BIOS by pressing F1, F2, or Delete as soon as the computer is turned on. You then need to find the boot order and change it so that the Windows installation disk or device is the first boot device. We now need to open the system recovery options to run bootrec.exe or other recovery tools from the Windows installation media. On the Install Windows screen, select the appropriate language, time, currency, format, and keyboard type, and then click the next button. Instead of pressing the Install Now button to install a new copy of Windows, we will repair our existing installation of Windows using the Recovery Console by clicking the Repair Your Computer link. It will automatically search for existing Windows installations and then display them in the System Recovery Options window. If you have more than one listed, make sure that you select the Windows 7 installation you currently use, or wish to repair. You may get a message stating that Windows found problems with your computer startup options, and asking do you want to apply repairs and restart your computer. If you see this message, it's best to click the Repair and Restart button, and then come back to this point. Leave the top option selected to Use Recovery Tools, and then click the next button. On the Choose a Recovery Tool screen, we would select Command Prompt to use the bootrec.exe tool. In many cases, Windows can automatically repair most common errors preventing Windows from starting using the Startup Repair option at the top. Let's let Windows try and fix the problem automatically for us. Click the Startup Repair link. Startup Repair will attempt to correct whatever issue is preventing the system from starting. In this case, as we can see, it says it did not detect the problem. If it did correct any issues, you would be prompted to restart the computer. Click the Finish button. 
If it did find a problem that it said it fixed, you could remove the CD, DVD, or USB from the system and attempt to start the computer normally. If the computer still doesn't start correctly, place the CD, DVD, or USB back in your computer and start the system again back to this point. If the automated startup repair option did not fix the computer problem, we're going to now need to use the bootrec.exe utility from the command prompt. Click the command prompt link. If your master boot record, or MBR, is corrupt or missing, you may be getting an error at startup stating that boot MGR is missing. The MBR is the first sector of your drive that tells your computer where to find the operating system startup files, which in this case is Windows 7. If you are having MBR corruption issues, we will need to use the bootrec command with the fix MBR switch. At the command prompt, type bootrec space forward slash fix MBR and then press enter. It doesn't matter if you use all uppercase or all lowercase letters. You'll get a message stating that the operation completed successfully if everything went well. You can try to boot the computer normally now if you wish, but I usually run it together with the next command. If the boot sector becomes damaged on the system, you'll want to write a new boot sector compatible with Windows 7. In many cases, you can end up with a corrupted boot sector by installing another operating system, such as installing a dual boot with Linux. If you have boot sector issues, we will need to use the bootrec command with the fix boot switch. At the command prompt, type bootrec space forward slash fix boot and then press enter. Again, we'll get a message stating that the operation completed successfully if everything went well. We can now shut down the computer again remove the CD, DVD, or USB, and try to start the computer normally and see if it boots. If this does not resolve the boot problems, continue on to rebuilding the BCD. If you start Windows 7 to the error message stating the Windows boot configuration data file is missing required information, or you have other issues with the Windows boot configuration data BCD, or just the system will continually not boot, the best option is to manually rebuild the BCD. The BCD contains detailed information about what Windows is supposed to load when the computer starts up. According to Microsoft, many boot errors can be caused by missing or damaged files in the BCD, which could be the result of viruses or spyware causing issues. We will now attempt to repair issues with the BCD by completely rebuilding it manually. We need to enter the following commands. After each command is entered, make sure that it says the operation completed successfully. We need to first back up our existing BCD, just in case we need it later. Type in BCD edit space forward slash export space and then the location where you want to extract it. I want to back it up on the C drive and call it BCD backup one, and then press enter. Let's change to the drive with a Windows installation on it, which is usually the C drive. Type in C, and then a colon, and then press enter. We can now see that we've changed the C drive from the X drive we were on previously. We now need to change into the boot directory. Type in CD space boot. Currently, the attributes of the BCD file are set so that we cannot change it. To be able to rebuild the BCD, we need to remove the system file, hidden file, and the read-only file attributes. Type in A-T-T-R-I-B space BCD space forward slash S space forward slash H space forward slash R, and then press Enter. With the attribute successfully changed, we're going to rename the file to back it up. Type in ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd 
which is our currently active VCD space. We'll back it up in the same directory with just a different name of BCD underscore backup dot old and press enter. We are now going to rebuild the BCD from scratch with the rebuild BCD switch on our bootrec command. Type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild BCD and then press enter. It will then scan for Windows installation and display any that it finds. We can see that it found one Windows installation here and asks if you'd like to add installation to bootlist. Enter a Y for yes and then press enter. If all went well, you should see the message stating the operation completed successfully. Now click the X to close out of the command prompt window. Remove the CD, DVD, or USB from your computer, and then press the restart button. Hopefully now this should have fixed any startup problems that you had with your system. You should now have a Windows 7 computer that starts up properly if the issue is related to problems that the bootrec command was intended to address.